Mega Lack and Challenger. I'm your host, James Moreland. Today we'll be talking about how I added so many shrimp to my 60 gallon betta fish tank. And there's so many bettas in this tank. It was really cool to see the reaction and how I acclimated these guys. So make sure you stay tuned to the entire end of this video because I'm going to give you guys a huge spoiler that I've kept in my mind for the past five months. So guys, stay tuned. Let's go back to past James. Remember back when, dreaming about the light. We didn't realize how- Yo, what's crack like and challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland. Today, we have tons of shrimp that we are unboxing, and we're gonna be putting them in my betta fish sorority, as well as my huge 90 gallon aquarium. So let me actually move the camera a little bit so it's less awkward. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to make a completely separate video about how I got these guys. Because they were supposed to deliver it to my house, but they actually kept it at the post office place. Then I had to go to the post office place. And then, at first they didn't have it, so I had to talk to them and eventually I got it. So that is going to be a really cool video. But I actually got these shrimp from my friend Rob from Flip Aquatics. You can actually check out his channel down below, as well as his shrimp store. But I'll be talking about that later in the video. And there's actually a discount you can get off your order, and that is really, really awesome. So Rob, he's a really, really cool guy, and I actually met him at the Chicago Aquatic Experience. And he gave me a ton of advice on keeping shrimp. He actually gave me crystal shrimp that bred. Okay, oh wow. Oh, that's so cool. He actually gave me some shrimp food. But yeah, he, he gave me tons of advice and he was the reason I was able to go to the Chicago Aquatic Experience and actually get in because I might have been stuck out if he didn't let me go in. Because they didn't really trust me because I'm kind of shifty. You know, a 16 year old fish keeper. But there's this second box inside the box. I'm so excited, guys. I waited the entire day at school. I even left school a little bit early to make sure I can actually get these guys. The box is actually warm on the inside, which is amazing. So these guys did not freeze. Okay, so here is the heat pack, still warm. And there are bags. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, they're alive! Oh my gosh, guys. So I got what they call Skittle shrimp, and they're multiple different colored shrimp that are really, really, really cool. And these ones are black. That is so cool. I think the first ones were red. These ones are orange. Looks like we got two more bags. This is really, really well packed. So a huge shouts to my guy. These ones are blue. It's a little bit of a mix. So these ones are blue. And now the last one. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. These ones are like pure blue. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited to put all these in my aquarium. These are actually going to be going into my 60 gallon, and I might put a couple in my 90 gallon. I said that I was going to plan on it, I'm, st I'm still thinking about it. But I also did get cool almond leaves and food for these guys, so that is really awesome. So again, thank you. Okay guys, I am back. This is in the fish room, and I actually moved everything down. I still have my remote control submarine. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out down below. Okay guys, so shrimp are really sensitive to water parameters. So acclimation is going to be different than what I'll usually do, especially if I get long-term shipments like this one. These guys were shipped for a day, for two days, and within that time they had waste, they produced waste. Basically they went to the bathroom. So if I were to get a fish that has been shipping, I just add it into the aquarium right away. But with shrimp, again, they are very sensitive to water parameters, so I'm going to take this a little bit slower. This bucket has been washed out, and I'm actually going to be adding the shrimp in one bag at a time into the bucket. And I'm actually going to be connecting an airline hose and slowly acclimating the water parameters from this tank into the bucket. That way it will help the shrimp get used to the tank parameters and all the water levels. So let's get started. I already filled this up just a little bit with water. And I'm actually gonna have to get a knife for this. I guess scissors will work too. But I'm gonna cut open the first bag. And these are called breather bags, and they actually don't have any oxygen in them. It actually, they're filled with water. And the bags are special and actually slowly absorb oxygen. Okay, so got every one out of this bag. Wow, these are some beautiful shrimp. And you may be wondering what's the benefit of actually keeping shrimp in your aquarium. And they're basically bottom feeders. They help clean your aquarium, as well as, honestly, they just look really cool. They're basically like ants for your aquarium. They are very, very aesthetical. And yeah, they, they clean your aquarium and they get into the small nooks and crannies of your tank. They eat microorganisms and very beneficial for your tank. So if you've not picked any of them up, I'd really recommend you guys getting them. I've had them in, in all, most of my tanks. However, if you are using fertilizer in your tanks, be wary because they can actually knock them out. I've got rid of some of my cherry shrimp by using too much fertilizer. Okay, so we got all the shrimp in the bucket. Okay guys, I'm super, super excited. I'm actually going to start the drip acclimation process. I'm going to get some airline hose. I'm going to start adding water from the big tank into the small bucket. 
Now, there are going to be some people that are like, don't do drip acclimation, don't acclimate them this way. But so far, whenever I've tried this, I've had good results. Okay, so the drip, the water's going. So that's a little too fast. I'm going to dim it down just a little bit, and it's going to slowly fill up the tank. Remember back when, dreaming about the light. We didn't realize how to get there, there'd be sacrifice. We didn't take into account the craziness of life. Remember setting up those speakers, calibrating life. And guys, while they're acclimating, I'm actually gonna add in some shoya wood, and this is actually what came with the package. And this might just be a little thing they can hide on. I'm actually gonna add the other two pieces into the big aquarium and also some almond leaves. Oh, they're cute. They'll get colorful later, and they'll breed. The big ones are pregnant, I think. Look it's at, adorable. I know, they're like red, yellow, blue. Look at the light, look at those baby oh, white blue ones. Oh, nice. Really cute. That is so sweet. Which tank is it gonna go in? Probably this tank, but look, did you see the big clear tube I got? Also adding just some tan and some leaf litter. I don't know how long they'll be in this little tank, but I do want to add them to the big tank soon, so I'll just have to wait on that. I'll probably give it a couple minutes and then actually turn off the suction and let them get used to the parameters. I do not know how I'm gonna catch them out. That's actually a problem that I have to think about. Okay guys, it has been quite a bit of time and I'm now going to be able to add these guys into the big aquarium. So I'm going to just scoop them up. The first one is in the tank right on some java fern. And then the next one, this, this might be a process. Something that would be really cool is if these guys bred, I'd be able to have all of them in my aquariums. That, that's hopefully the goal, actually. Guys, these are really, really high quality shrimp. The blue ones are just so pristine. I'm very excited for what this tank will turn into. They are already eating up on what I already put in the tank. I'm trying to see how the beta fish are actually getting used to these new uh, shrimp. I'm actually going to feed them a couple more times. I'm just trying to distract them for the most part while they get added to the tank so we don't lose any shrimp. There are quite a few hiding spots in this tank. That was something I was worried about. Okay, I think that was the last one. Okay, all the shrimp are added to the aquarium. Right now I'm actually going to take the time to put some food in the tank. And you'll be able to check out the food that I was set up with in the description. I actually have a little shrimp feeding bowl in there. Hopefully I'll be able to make it. Let me show you guys the tank and the amazing shrimp. Okay, there are two shrimp. You can see, I think that one's pregnant and it might be fanning the eggs. That is really cool. I think that's one of the, like, it's a big one too. And here's a big piece of shoya wood and they'll actually be able to hide in that. Oh, there's a shrimp swimming by. Oh, he's, he's getting scared. I think they just need to get used to the tank and see the hiding spots that I've placed in here. You can actually see a shrimp on top of a sponge filter. That is really, really cool. I'm not going to take this time to put in some other pieces of choya wood. They're going to float for a while, but eventually sink down. And those things betta fish won't be able to get into, so they'll actually be able to hide from those guys. So that is really, really cool. Um, there's another shrimp. I think they'll just have to get used to the tank, and I'm very, very excited for all that. And like the major hiding spots are actually in this little setup and I haven't really seen that many betta fish go through it but there is a lot of driftwood and a lot of separate hiding spots for them so they will hopefully feel secure. I also have these little cubes that are hollow that they can go into and all this lava rock that has so many different hides. Alright I'm going to let them be probably for a couple hours and then hopefully come back when they get used to the tank. Okay guys so this is the end of the video I hope you all enjoyed. Please please drop a like on this video it would mean so much it's free if you're not doing it i don't know why and also if the little button down there says subscribe and not subscribed with a d make sure you click it so it has a d at the end also make sure you hit that little bell to make a post notification so you get notified when i post the next video but guys let's talk about that really really cool surprise boom okay guys this is a huge acrylic pipe and i wanted to keep this a secret but y'all are so awesome for watching this so far in the video and i mean you're awesome in general but this tube is actually going to be going from this tank to my 90 gallon and i'm going to be calling it the shrimp highway so this is actually going to be able to have shrimp in it going from my 60 gallon to my 90 gallon and back and forth. It's going to be a heaven for these guys. I'm going to try putting some live plants in there. 
It's gonna be really, really cool. I've done something like this on a smaller scale, but nothing this big. So guys, again, make sure you drop a like and subscribe so you get notified when I post this next video. It's gonna be awesome. Also guys, kind of a new update schedule on YouTube, so I'm gonna be trying uploading on Saturdays for sure, Tuesdays and Thursdays, that should be the schedule. Hope And videos will also be posted earlier in the morning, so make sure you hit those notifications so you get notified when I post. All right guys, other than that, Thank you all for watching. I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. Make sure you check out Flip Aquatics down below. Thank you so much, man, for hooking me up with all this stuff. It's really awesome. There's also a discount code down there so you can actually get a percentage off as well as you help me. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. See you all later. Bye.